Hey everybody, Fantron here. This is Devil May Cry, the next Let's Play that I'm doing. Uh, at the time of this recording, I tried to put up raw commentary for this. Or not raw commentary, uh, raw footage so me and all my buddies can watch it all together on Skype. And it, to no avail, it was, it, I think the game is just too new and it was not going to work. Uh, so what I did is that I took the uh, already edited footage, and I'm pretty much going to post-commentate over it, uh, seeing as how I do not want to play through the game again with live commentary. I just want to stick to the game, that stick to what I have right here. Uh, however, if this does not work, which is pretty much only a note to myself, pretty much. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it will, because the way that everything gets encoded, everything has commentary, and not one thing is like went up on my page as a red flag. So... We'll see. But anyway, uh, obviously this is not the Devil May Cry. We started off growing up and loving it. It's a completely different thing. Uh, I'm going to play on Nephilim difficulty. Uh, and according to what it says, if you've played all the Devil May Crys before and you beat them and all that stuff, you should play on Nephilim for the Devil May Cry, you know, experience. Or the, D the full DMC experience. But anyway, um, I pretty much cut out the beginning segments and all that stuff or the beginning captions uh there is an opening cutscene which i will allow you guys to watch in silence seeing as i was post commentary there's really nothing that i need to say between those so enjoy Yes, by close of trading Friday. <laughs> no, you can't have more time. You know the terms, you know the consequences. <laughs> no, this is not a veiled threat. This is a direct one. Should you fail to comply, the collapse of the economy will be on your head. I will make sure that you are stripped of power, shamed, and hated. Is that clear enough for you? Well, Friday it is then. You have a good night, Mr. President. So, did you get it, my darling? Over a trillion. Oh. Soon I will own everything worth owning. Mm -hmm. I will control the world through debt. I have absolute power. <laughs> The world is at last your bitch, as am I. Nothing left but to grab it by the hair, bend it over, and... <sighs> What's the matter? What? What's the matter? A loose end. A loose end? What? The son of the traitor Sparta. Dante. Him. He's still out there. The hunters will find him. They found Sparta in his whore. And when they do... I... will rip open his chest with my bare hands and feast on his beating heart. Well, I decided, well, this is pretty much a music thing. There's no talking. There's no plot anyway. But anyway, this is Devil May Cry. And as you can see, it's a completely different, different, different tone than uh, the original. Uh, good lord, like, I mean, if you guys see all the playthroughs, if you've never seen a Devil May Cry, you know, game prior to this, and if this is the first Devil May Cry game that you've played, um... You'd be like, well, what the hell is everybody talking about? You know, why did everybody bitch about, you know, this being different and blah, 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 blah. So there's previous Devil May Cry titles. The Devil May Cry titles before this, they are all, all of these are rated in for Mature. But never in my mind have I ever thought that, um, you know, the previous titles were 
rated T or Infirmature. I always thought they were rated T for Teen until I actually looked at it the other day, and I was like, holy shit, these are rated Infirmature. You know, I had no idea. I mean, they seem harmless enough, to be honest. There wasn't really much, you know, fuck shit stams, uh, whores, you know, all all the like the swearing and all that stuff. That that's not out, and then all the sexuality, all that stuff's out. You know, um, the alcohol, all that's out. There, there's nothing like that. I mean, we get our violence, we get our occasional dams. Um, what else did Dante say? I mean, there, there's, we get our our occasional, you know, anime sexuality, but. We, this is a completely different type of beast that we're going to be talking about and viewing together. Um, in all honesty, I'm going uh, to tell you right now, as a whole, coming from the old games to this game, I like this game. Uh, I can't say that I, there's no way that I can say I can't like it, that I, that I won't like it. I was so afraid that this game was actually just going to be really terrible, not because of the new Dante, not because of the way he looked. Um... It was more or less of how were they going to stick, t how was it going to be Devil May Cry? You know, with the Mundus thing and, uh, you know, Virgil and, you know, how they were going to tie all that together if the story was going to be really good. Because that was the main reason why I played Devil May Cry. Oh, but let me shut up so you guys can watch this and hear this. Citizens, we've been kept asleep in a manufactured illusion for too long. We must wake up. The masked lunatic you saw there claims to represent an organization called the Order. Now this group has claimed responsibility for several serious attacks in recent weeks. He is undoubtedly a traitor and a terrorist. And I, for one, am not for the death penalty. So, there's one way to do it. Illegally shoot the son of a bitch. This is Bob Barbas, just doing God's work. Dante, get out of there, you're in danger. Who are you? What do you want? You were careless. You left a trail. Now he's on to you. What are you talking about? Who's on to me? The hunter demon. <gasps> he's here. for a hangover. No more. Get your filthy fucking claw off my trailer. <laughs> Alrighty, we're getting our we're throwing this they're throwing us right in the combat. This wouldn't be a double may cry without anything like that. Uh, pretty much, guys. Uh, how how this playthrough is more or less going to go? This is this for me when I played this. This was blind. Uh, I didn't play it prior to the release or anything like that. I played it the day that it released. Uh, was it like 11 o'clock in the morning? Uh, and then I played it from 11 to practically. 11:29 at night. So this game, in all actuality, and I, I took a nap in between then. So that's it was about like a four-hour nap, and I farted around for an hour. So this game, in all actuality, isn't that long. Uh, I didn't expect it to be, to be honest. 
But then again, I've been playing Devil May Cry non-stop, so, you know, I was pretty much freshly prepared on what I was supposed to go ahead and go do. Uh, the only thing about this game that I have to say, there's so many things that you can do, like, every button in the, for this game has a use, like, in combat, in general. You know, and I'm sitting there, you know, you'll see a lot of, like, goofy-ass shit where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna keep doing this for whatever reason, or, like, I'm trying to lock on, you know, and there's a lot of times where I will just straight up whiff a, a hit, you know, and it's just like, oh, what the fuck, what did I do? But, uh, anyway, this is pretty much the tutorial stage. Level 1, is, you know, level 1 has to be the tutorial stage. Um, you get your guns and all that stuff. And seeing as how it's during the mission, uh, I'm pretty much going to talk through it, except for, like, actual main relevant cutscenes. So, I mean, I, I wish I was doing live commentary, but the uh, situation with that, like I said before, I was going to do uh, post-commentary with my friends, because one of my friends has played the game, and he's finished it, and I want to know what he thinks about it. And uh, one of my other friends, like, I, I, I sent a whole invite to a whole bunch of my friends on my personal Facebook account, and, you know, I was just like, hey, you know, we should do this, you know, over this, because it seemed like a good idea, because everybody can't get together in, in my place. I mean, I have a big place, but when it comes to, like, where I have my computer set up and stuff like that, it's a really, a really small area. And with all the time, with the time limit that I have, it just doesn't, it didn't, it didn't work out so well. Like me failing all those jumps. Like, I'm, and I don't know, for whatever reason, I was like, okay, I need to jump on that trailer to go up there. Now, there are a lot of things in this game where I'm just like, okay, I can make that jump. You know? And, and especially in prior games, and just other games in general, where it's just like, okay, he can he can make that. Why can't he? Why wouldn't he be able to make it? You know. Now, ironically, when when the thing when I'm like on the precipice of fucking up on this, I think I make it. As a matter of fact, yeah, I change the path. I'm like, okay, we're going left instead of right. I jump on that trailer, and but you know, it goes into a cutscene. Like, what was I supposed to think? You know, it's just like, all right, whatever, no big deal. Uh, but a lot of my goofs are in here. A lot, but like certain stages or uh, certain boss stages, there are just strictly boss stages, which is actually which probably uh, like Devil May Cry 2. If you guys remember from my playthrough of Devil May Cry 3, there was there were Devil May Cry yeah Devil May Cry 2. There were specific boss stages where you just fight bosses and you did nothing else. Uh, was Devil May Cry 1 the same one? Oh. Well, you had to explore a little bit and then get to the boss, but I mean, there's just straight up cutscene, boss fight, cutscene, end of stage. Uh, but anyway, we're getting into the aerial enemies now. They're called Bathos or Bathos. I think they're Bathos. Uh, this game is heavily, 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 heavily. Uh, I, like, you'll see, like, uh, defense. Okay? Uh, the English language, it's su such a weird language. Defense is spelled with a C in this game, if you'll notice. You'll be like, is that a typo? Well, I think that's how they spell it over in the uh, in the UK if I'm not mistaken like color you know a spell with a with a U C L L O U R you know like that like Sonic color and all that stuff like in Canada that's spelled with a U and defense is spelled with the C and 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 I'm pretty sure it's it should be the same all around no matter what uh, and this is me trying to figure out if I can change my buttons and stuff like that because I was not comfortable playing the uh, with the thing. And in all honesty, when it boiled down to it, I had no choice but to get used to it. And that was pretty much me deciding it was just like, okay, there's just no way, because I was like, I haven't explored everything about the, you know, I haven't used everything on the controller. I was like, probably by the time that I do it, because right now it just feels really stiff. There's not other things that I can use, like, uh, like Dante Mission 1. Usually, like, was it Mission 1, 2, let me see. 1 or 2. Like in Devil May Cry, he gets like a different weapon. He gets, like, the shotgun in Devil May Cry in the original. He gets number, you know, all that stuff. And Nero gets his, his grabby arm, which he used with B. Um, and all that stuff. My name is Kat. I'm not a demon. I'm but anyway, here's our sub-character. Or other main character, I guess. I, I wouldn't... I, what would you call her, really? I mean... Is she a... Would you, would you... Would you consider her a main character? I mean, she's a very helpful, helpful character. And all honesty, this plot more or less revolves around her help. But we'll get more into that as the playthrough goes on. I don't need your help. I don't know, guys, fellas. Think she's cute? I give her an eight. I've been down here before. I know how to 
Her face just looks weird. And it's like, okay, in, in this, like, up close, she just looks kind of weird. Have you ever met a girl that looked like that? I've never met a girl that looks like that. It's crazy. But anyway, and she's really short. She's like regular size. Or maybe Dante's just really tall. You know, like Tom Cruise is like, he's actually a short dude for real. And, but he looks tall in movies and shit like that. Speaking of Tom Cruise, I like watched the, uh, what's that movie, Jack Reacher the other day? Oh man, that movie was good. I recommend you guys go out and go see it. But anyway, those are the free souls. Those are pretty much your, uh, your, uh, how do I explain it? Your, your, yeah, your, your MacGuffins, pretty much, of your collection bonus things. Those help you out with getting extra, uh, white orbs towards the end of the mission. Because you see I have three upgrade things. I started off with two. Uh... Or was it, was it two or was it three? I think it was I think it was three that I started off with because I got the samurai pack as you saw in the mini in the ugh, in the menu because I pre-ordered my purchase from GameStop and I wind up getting uh, and seeing as how I'm a Power Ups Pro member I wind up getting the uh, Virgil's Downfall DLC so I will be doing that and I'll probably be doing that live as a matter of fact I won't be doing any post commentary on that but seeing as how the situations and certain events you know arise. I'll be doing these all post-commentary and getting these all out of the way. So, by the time that this is all done, uh, it, it'll probably be by, like, the middle, if not, yeah, probably the middle of next month. And this is still, what, what is today? It is January 18th right now. So, by the time that I get all of this stuff done, it'll probably be the middle, if not the, if this is not the end of this month, then it's probably going to be the middle, because like I said, I'm trying to split all, I'm just going to split all the footage up, edit it how I need to, and pretty much get it out of the, get it all set up to where I can record one sit down and upload it, and get these out as quickly as possible for you guys, I know I should have had these up for you guys sooner, and I, I am so sorry, you know, for the people that, you know, I, I have 45 subscribers, which for me, it's, a shit, it's, you know, the, f oh, the 45 that I have, you guys are great. You know, thank you for, you know, subscribing. And thank you for all the new subscribers that have joined me. You know, I, I feel total, I feel really, really, really bad that I did not get this up for you guys as quickly as possible. And usually that, that, that's usually never the case. But when I wanted to try something different, YouTube was like, no. And in all honesty, I think it's the way that my videos are, uh, how they, en how they encode with the, uh, thing with the, uh, with, with the YouTuber. Because I, it's all automated. Uh, according to what one of you know what somebody told me because I was like why the hell isn't this working and I already have two strikes on my uh, account now because of this because of this video so, or because well yeah just because of this playthrough alone so it's it's pretty crazy because like I was just like okay well no big deal it's already been released I'm not playing this way before it's released I'm not a video game tester or anything so I shouldn't have it beforehand and if I did you know then that would be a crazy mess too but I didn't order it ahead of time, I pretty much got it on its release date, and seeing as how I'm pretty much not working for Machinima or anything like that, I'm pretty much doing this just for fun. But, uh, now we're in the, uh, shit, I, god, I always keep forgetting what the fuck that, I wanna keep calling it the Goddess of St uh, Time statue, cause I'm so used to seeing that, or some shit like that, space-time continuum thing, but it's actually called something different. Uh, but, anyway, this is our shop mechanic, our, you know, our statue, and we get to, uh, pretty much see every move, except for the unknowns, we get to see all of our moves that we have you know, that we were able to purchase right off the bat. And seeing as how, like I said, I had uh, the Samurai points, or the points from the uh, Samurai pack, you get to uh, start off, get two or three extra points. But anyway, I get to try out some new moves, and this is the tryout move mechanic. This also, me this mechanic is also, like, in the game. You don't have to just play the actual game to do it. There's a training mode in the game, if you, I'm, I'm sure you've seen, uh, in the, <clears throat> in the menu. You can try and train on all of your combos and make your combos flawless. And I want to that that definitely provides, you know, something extra. I've always wanted a training mode in Devil May Cry, where it's just like, oh, man, I want to try this combo with Nero and see if it'll work. Because it, in practice and in theory, the only two places that you can do that shit in is the storyline or Bloody Palace. You, you had no choice. But there's our first achievement. Time to go to work, guys. Um, obviously, a lot. Of, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you right now. A lot of these achievements, if you're especially if you're a Devil May Cry fan like myself, you'll be like, ah, I see what they did there. You know, um, it's pretty much the you know the lines from classic Dante. Uh, Nero. There's not lines from Nero. There's lines from I believe there's Vir there's gonna be Virgil lines. There's gonna be. Uh, I know there's. Let me see. Oh, wow. Um, well, that would be the end of the video. Wow, I didn't think it was already that, it was over that quickly. But anyway, um, 
Ooh, yeah. Well, I'll just catch you guys in the next video. Wow, I didn't hit so quickly. 20 minutes was over. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video in part two.